Welcome to Chalk Talk, presented by Option Central, the premier source for all things option football, with your host, Coach Tony DeMeo. Now sit back and get your pencil and paper ready for another Play of the Day Chalk Talk from Option Central. Hi, this is Tony DeMeo, and this is an edition of the stretch game that we've been talking about. And this is a stretch against a man-free defense, a uh, three shell. You, here you see right here the uh, safety, the free safety. And it's going to be man-to-man, man-under. You see the outside backer on our slot. This is the outside backer right here. And the corners rolled up playing press on a wideout. Now, the trick to me is to isolate this wideout on that corner or this slot on this outside backer right here. Out here, these people are going to do the basic stretch route, and we're, they're going to blitz this out. This uh, He's an inside backer, but he's lined up here. So he's going to be a blitz guy. And uh, the, the mic backer is going to be in uh, coverage. So we're in a spread formation. We've spread people out. And the difference in spread, this slot usually, the backside slot usually lines up here. Instead, we widened him to give him more room on his release so he wouldn't have to deal with anybody else trying to jostle him. Now, this wideout, uh, this slot's main responsibility is to tie up the free safety. Unless the free safety disappears, then he'll become a primary receiver. This um, wide receiver here, instead of doing an out, if he's short, which he is, he's going to go deep. So he's going to run a fade. These guys are going to do the basic stretch route, which he'll run his stretch. And now, instead of doing an in route, you'll get a, a deep route by that wide out as well. The tailback checks releases, and he's going to, his responsibility is this backer. If, he, if the backer drops, he'll do a flare. If not, he's going to pick up the backer. The quarterback sees press coverage. He's going to, he realizes, he knows that this receiver is going to do a fade. And he's, that's where he's going to basically look. He's going to want to throw that fade because this is our best wide out against their corner. The only thing he has to worry about, because we, we have, they have six in the box and we have six blockers. The only one he can't handle if he blitzes is that outside backer. Now, if that outside backer comes, we have to make an adjustment. But in this case, the outside backer covers the slot like we anticipate, and we're going to throw the fade to the wide receiver. Okay, let's let's look at this. Nice move by the wide out, and he's wide open. Touchdown. Okay, let's look at it from the end zone. Okay, there you see the little shift, which we do in, in drop back passes because we want to get him out a little wider, the tailback. And watch the protection. The protection, we're going to use the same protection we've talked about. Uh, this tackle has a key block on that defensive end. We're going to uh, block this tackle on uh, that defensive end, guard on, on the three technique, and double the nose to this backer. Here's the key block right here. He is going to block that blitzing backer. That tailback is going to block the blitzing backer and give the quarterback time to throw the ball. See it one more time. The only thing we have a five-seven quarterback, and he makes a call. So these the lineman knows 
he knows he's going to get the ball off in a step. But what we want to do is keep their hands down a little bit. But at this point, this outside backer hasn't rolled up on that uh, on the uh, slot, so they're not playing press yet. So he has a, he's not worried about that at this point. Now, as they roll up, he checks right here. See? And that's when the, the tailback moves over. And he moves over, so he has an easier, chance, easier time picking up any blitzes or to run the flare. He's in better position right now than he would be if he was behind the quarterback. So that's a key thing. Now we know we have them where we want them. And you see him changing the play a little bit. Catch, step, throw, and there it is. Touchdown. And let's look at it one more time from the end zone. There he is making the change. Now he knows we're expecting him to come off the edge, to be honest with you. And instead, they run a little echo stunt where he comes. He's actually an inside backer, so he's going to come through uh, that gap right there. And they, that's how they've set this up. So our tailback does a great job uh, in picking that blitz up because we're expecting him to come off the edge and this defensive end to come in here and bring that tackle down him to come off the edge. Instead, they do the opposite. There's a quarterback telling the lineman. And there's the, the great pickup by the tailback. Great. Notice the way we stone the nose to not let him collapse the pocket inside, inside which is really important when you have a 5-7 quarterback. There's the throw. Perfect throw, perfect execution. Okay, let's look at the diagram. We'll start with the protection. And it's just big on big and double team on less. So the, the play side uh, tackle has that defensive end. The play side guard has the man on him, the three technique. We double the nose. And again, the big thing with the nose guard is we do not want him to get penetration or move drive these two guys back into the lap of the quarterback. The only time they're not going to double team the nose is if this backer comes. Then it, the guard would come off and block them here. If the if there's some kind of scrape here, the center would come off and he would block them that way. We have this tackle, again, keeping that end wide to give this quarterback, our 5'7 quarterback, a throwing lane. Now, in their defense, what they did was they brought their, this Sam out here, an alignment. So the tailback is responsible for Sam. It doesn't matter where he goes, but he came in in here to run the blitz that way. And our tailback just picked him up, and that's a key key block these uh because it's pressed the z ran a, a vertical to the field or a fade the strong the uh, strong safety covered our slot on his vertical the will ran with this slot and the free safety came over and actually so we actually had that slot Double team. The free safety read the quarterback's eyes, but our wide out gave a little inside moving out and was by the corner in a heartbeat, and it was a touchdown to him. And that's the way it's shaped up. Okay, let's look at that uh, in it, the, the video in its entirety now that you see the diagram. And then we're going to come back and I'm going to show you one little adjustment.
Okay, so the question always comes up when I show this is this is six man protection against a six box because we have in man free the will has to cover the uh, slot the strong safety has to cover this slot now this is to the field the strong safety is to the field so he's very wide the odds of him coming on a blitz even if he comes on a blitz he'll never he'll never get to the quarterback in time this will is a little bit different though uh because he because this is the boundary he could come on a blitz and possibly disrupt things. So this uh, slot's rule is if he comes on the blitz, look for the ball. Because now he becomes uncovered with the free in the middle of the field. The free safety could get maybe to this. If we try to run a, a seam, he could maybe get there. But he, but he sure can't replay it get to where the slot just replaces the will blitz. So the quarterback would have a choice. He could throw to that to that uh, fade route if they stay in press. If they get off press, then then he wouldn't have the fade route if they play looser man. But he would always have this slot as an uncovered receiver and that would be his throw because then nobody can get to him okay let's look at a video of that and you'll see that exact situation working okay this isn't exactly the same defense but it's going to give you the same idea and what you see is again we're in spread formation that means both slots are wide and we're we're going to uh, uh, call a uh, play with this receiver here uncovered and we're going to show you how the how he reacts to it so you see this receiver is going to be uncovered and the quarterback is just going to throw him the ball on the uncovered route. Now, as I said, it's not the exact same defense. It's not a press defense because usually you're not going to play press and leave somebody uncovered. But again, you'll get the idea as we go. Okay, see, so, he, so here you can see them lining up for the blitz. You, This receiver knows nobody is covering him and here here we come they have both both defenders linebackers in here and you see our slot is already starting to look for the ball he is not going to do his seam route like he's supposed to he is going to look for the ball why because there's nobody over him this is what I call a strategic flexibility where the, the receivers and the quarterback have the ability to improvise. And, and I think that's a big factor in the triple gun offense. Okay, let's continue this. Now, you see this defender, the corner, has attacked or wide out so he winds up in press coverage but this the the uh slot already has the ball in his hands now the only guy that could possibly catch him was the inside backer who did not blitz but now he's down he's already down he's already got a, a first down he's the first down marker and he gets a little bit more out of this play. Let's look at it. Whoops, whoops, whoops. That was against the 12th ranked team in the country, Tusculum, back in 2009. Here it is from the end zone. Let's look at it. 
And they're looking at it's a short pass, but the inside backer, this is the inside backer. He has to come all the way from here to try to make that play. Now, even if he tackles him, it's going to be a first down. Look at the throwing lane for the quarterback. I think that's really important to, to show you. We've stoned the nose, just like we, we talk about right there. We have a good width on the pocket here by the tackle. We've picked up every blitz out over on this side. And now here's the uh, here's our slot wide open with the ball in his hands and they have a good linebacker, but that's an impossible task. Now, what if if this linebacker had widened or had gotten there? Again, it doesn't take Newt Rockney to figure out that the quarterback draw it would be running for a first down. So this is how the stretch route, this is just the stretch route again, but throwing the uncovered route. You've been watching Chalk Talk, featuring Coach Tony DeMeo. Chalk Talk is a production of Option Central, the premier source for all things option football. Ready to improve your option football coaching skills? It's time to join OptionCentral.net right now.